Greetings, hello, and Mary Beltane to you. This is our welcoming Beltane journey together. And I'm going to start with an introduction of uh, myself and the place and the time and what you'll need to participate. Also the plants that are here with us and some general definitions uh, so that we can be on the same page and in the same meaning together. Also, as always, please take whatever is meaningful to you and alignment with your cosmology, your belief systems, your spirituality, and leave whatever feels discordant or does not make sense to you. Then we'll do a journey together um, to meet Beltane. And then we'll talk about next steps, how we can continue to be in right relationship beyond this moment together. So I am Lily. I am a folk herbalist and witch, and I use she, her pronouns. I am a descendant of European colonizers, and I live on Orcas Island. Uh, Orcas is in the San Juan Islands, which is the very corner of the Pacific Northwest of the United States. This is occupied native land, originally Lummi Nation and Coast Salish. And the time is belting. Mary Beltane. Beltane is the halfway mark between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. It's a way of measuring time in uh, Celtic, pagan, European descent in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's a time to celebrate the fecundity of the land. There are beautiful blossoms all around us. The earth appears to be celebrating, the bees are buzzing, the energy is just so beautiful and so spring. And the plants that are here with us today include native and non-native that are blooming here and growing here. Um, and I will show you them closer. We have wild cherry, dug fir, bracken fern, lichen, willow, forget-me-nots and cleaver, salmonberry, nuka rose, two different varieties of gooseberry, and the elder is blooming here. So what you'll need to participate is a journal or a piece of paper, some pens, um, a candle, something to smudge with. Uh, it could be a dried plant material. It could be incense. Or if you just have a candle, that's fine too. Um, please make sure you're hydrated. Use uh, an opportunity, you know, pause the video and get yourself some water. And then you might want something sweet to help you to get back into your body at the end of our journey together. And I like to have chocolate. Um, some general definitions so that we can be on the same page are like, what is folk herbalism? So to me, folk herbalism is a connection to the broken lineages of um, my ancestors, which happen to be European. Um, from the time of when witches were hunted and killed, there's been a break in our knowledge systems about the connection to humans and earth. And so folk herb herbalism gives me a way to reconnect in a way that is not an appropriation of someone else's culture, but a true recognition of my own ancestral heritage and knowledge systems to be connected to earth 
and the plants and the spirits and the guides that help me. Uh, we're going to be talking about higher self and higher self is an idea or a concept that I think is in all spiritual traditions, um, just using different vocabulary. So it's the part of us that doesn't die. It's separate from our body in some ways, but we inhabit our body, obviously. Um, so some people call it spirit or soul. Um, it's the part of us that lives on and is eternal. Um, and if you are a strictly scientific person, it could be viewed as just the energy that makes us alive. And that energy we know like doesn't disappear within the universe. Um, it just moves into a different form and it goes somewhere else. Also, Beltane. Uh, Beltane, as we talked about briefly, um, is this time between summer and spring. Um, but also it's a time when the veil between the worlds is said to grow thin. So there's a lot of different ways to think of this idea. Um, but it's a time when we have access to our subconscious, you could say, in an easier way. We have access to hearing the voices of the plants or the ancestors or the spirits around us. It's an opportunity to connect to the spirit realm in a way that we don't have every day of the year. Um, the counterpoint to Beltane is Samhain or the uh, Halloween holiday. And uh, that time of the year is more about inward fall, harvest, that sort of mentality. But Beltane is more so about um, an opening outward and um, can be about integrating that outward spirit realm and our inward inner one. So there is a caution about Beltane and Samhain, both of those times a year is there's a reason why, you know, there's all this spookiness associated with Halloween and it's because it's a powerful time frame. So likewise for Beltane, um, when we journey together, you want to stay on the path, you could say. You don't want to go wandering out into fairyland um, and you want to continue to be within your body as we go. Um, the last concept we want to be on the same page about is ceremony. So ceremony is my word for doing some sort of ritual or celebration. And my background is in anthropology and the idea that this is something intrinsic to humans. So it doesn't have to be specific to a uh, religion or spiritual tradition. This can be something that you create for yourself because you are a human. And if you do have connections to traditions that have ceremony, then wonderful. And if you want to include a new way to connect, then that is what this ceremony is for. So to get started, I would now light your candle. And if you'd like to smudge in preparation for our journey together, this would be the time. I'm using a, a cedar incense smudge. That's really lovely. And we call in sacred space here. We call in the four directions. We call in our guides, both known and unknown. We call in our plant spirits and our guides and teachers. Now we're going to sit as comfortably as possible for our upcoming journey. And take a deep breath 
and close your eyes. You're going to imagine that you have a root system, a tap root, coming from your sacral region and extending down into the earth down through the layers of soil and rock all the way to the center of the earth where it wraps around the core of the earth three times. And from this deeply rooted, grounded space We're going to request the presence of our higher selves, the part of us that is eternal. If and when they have arrived, take stock of who this entity is and their surroundings. What plants and animals are there? What is the setting? You could be seeing this information in your mind's eye. You could hear or smell or even read specific words. There's lots of ways to be with this imagery this information, this reality. From this setting, look outward towards Beltane. How far away is it? How is it represented to you? Notice any plants or spirits and what the energy or the environment of it is. Now take a moment and notice what is between you as your higher self and Beltane. I see a trail of mushrooms, but it is going to most definitely be different for every person. Now walk the trail to the boundary of Beltane, but do not cross. From this spot, give offerings. These could be your favorite plant, or tea, or food. It could be your gratitude, a song, or your tears. Sit with Beltane for a while and be receptive to any messages this powerful time and space has to share. When you're ready, come back to your root, to your body. Feel yourself deeply tethered to the earth and constant. Take a deep breath. 
Open your eyes. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe move your position to feel yourself in your body again. I'm going to close our sacred space and give gratitude. So, Great Spirit, please accept our offering to you and to Beltane. We say that the work here is done and we give this time and place as an offering to you. Thank you for guiding us and for being with us. Thank you to our higher selves for showing up to be seen. I'm going to do another smudge. Blow out my candle. Hmm, this would be a good time to drink some water and eat some chocolate. And as far as the next steps that I'm going to do is my, my next thing is to make a bundle, a fresh bundle, out of the plants that showed up to be part of our Beltane ritual together. Um, and I encourage you to do the same, uh, to just go outside and give offerings to the earth, whatever they might be, whatever you feel called to give, um, and to gather plants and tie them together to make a bundle if you'd like. Also, you could journal about your experience and maybe there's lessons or something new that you've learned about yourself through this process. And when you go to bed, you can talk to Beltane again and uh, offer a dream together and continue working on um, integrating this into your life. So thank you for going on a journey with me. Beauty blessings to you and blessed be.